Hey Jammers, it's Kristen. Um, I wanted to just take a few minutes and explain just a little bit of the Jamberry cons um, compensation plan. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about um, how how the compensation plan works and um, how the level overrides and then generational overrides and and all of that um, works, and especially like if you have someone who is not active um, and all of that. And so I'm going to do my best to try to explain this. And if um, you have any additional questions, all of this is in the Jaybury Compensation Plan document that is in your workstation under the documents and I think I believe it's under training. Um, and so all of this is is right there. Um, but I know the very first time that you read it, it can get just a little confusing. And so, um, anyways, I wanted to take just a minute and um, kind of share this with you. And hopefully I'm not going to confuse you any further. Um, so, first of all, the thing that I um, want to make sure that um, you understand is that in order to receive any kind of compensation, any kind of bonuses or anything, and the bonuses are what we receive on the 10th of every month. Um, this is not just your um, your retail commission. So that this is not the 30% the that you receive for each sale. This I'm talking about your your level bonuses and your personal sales bonuses that we receive on the 10th of every month and also your um, like your fast start and your generational matching bonuses as well. So um, the way that this works, so in order to receive any of that, you have to have at least 200 PRV, which is the minimal to be considered an active consultant during that month. It resets, resets every month. It resets for all of us every month. And so at the very first of the month, you're going to see everything go back to zero, um, and we start building it all over again, 100. Uh, now, that said... As we start looking at the levels deep, as your your recruits and the recruits underneath them, um, I'm going to show you here on my chart in just a second. So those bonuses and the matching bonuses for um, for like if you have a consultant under you that reaches lead consultant, senior lead consultant, team manager, all of those are premier consultant and then team manager. Um, those advancement bonuses and the advancement matching bonuses, we do not receive unless you are paid as that same level or higher. So if I am a lead consultant one month, and that is now my new career title, and so let's say the next month my recruit um, achieves lead consultant rank as well. She gets a hundred dollars bonus. We we get a hundred dollar bonus when we receive the lead consultant title. Now, I as I if I receive achieve lead consultant one month and my downline achieves lead consultant the next month, unless I achieve lead consultant as well that same month, which includes the PRV that goes along with that which is, that's 400 PRV, and two active legs. So I need to have two active legs, and I need to have the matching PRV. If I do not achieve that same level, I don't get that matching bonus in order so, to get the bonus. Okay, so let me kind of explain this to you. This is a little chart that I made up that I just kind of quickly wrote out. So this is me, and I'm doing this backwards, and so... Forgive me if I get kind of off here. So let's say these are my downlines. This is level one. This is my level one right here. This is my level two. And this is my level three. So if you're looking at the compensation plan chart, when I, I will start receiving bonuses on my level one, even at the advanced consultant level, that is only 200 PRB and one active leg that I would start getting the match the level override bonuses for this level right here that's five percent at the advanced consultant level at the senior consultant level I need to have two active legs and 300 pay at the cons at the senior consultant level I would get paid for not just these two then these two this is my level two 
And so I would receive the level two override, the 3% at the senior consultant level for my level two. And then on up, lead consultant, you still only get bonuses for levels one and two. Okay, at lead consultant level, I'm only receiving bonuses for level one and level two. That's the level overrides that I would be getting. At the senior lead consultant level, once you reach 500 PRV, you have three active legs. One of those legs, let's say it's Sue over here, needs to be an advanced consultant. Remember advanced consultant, 200 PRV, and only one active leg. So to be a senior lead consultant, I need to have three active legs. One of them needs to be an advanced consultant, and I need to have 3,000 team retail value. Now that's not volume, excuse me. That is not just my sales alone. That is my sales plus anybody that's underneath me. Our sales count for my team retail volume. And that's what we're gonna be looking at as I start getting levels deep and it starts increasing. That's where all of the bonuses money comes from. So this is level one override, level two override, level three override. Now these girls right here, they're, they're recruits until I get to the senior team manager level. I am not going to receive any additional bonuses on my level three if they get a recruit. I would not receive any additional bonuses on any further down deep. Okay, so I need to be a senior team manager in order to, and I'll explain that in a second, how all of this then comes into play for my bonuses. So this is just, this is, this is basically my team. So my TRV is all of these people. My team retail volume, all of these guys, okay? All right, so then once we get into the senior team manager level and everything else, then we would start looking at generational overrides. So these are my level overrides. Anything below this would be generational overrides. And so anybody that is recruited down here are going to be generations, okay? So the question has been asked then, what happens when, let's say, Mary here decides that she wants to be a hobbyist and she decides that she does not want to be an active consultant anymore. All of the matching bonuses, but her downline here, number 2C, I ran out of names and so I just started naming them, 2C, all of her matching bonuses and all of those level 1 overrides that would have gone to Mary had she been active are unfortunately lost. They're not going to go anywhere. That's just, that's, that's money that unfortunately has been lost that Mary could have had, but she's not going to get because she is not at the same or higher level than her, her downline. Okay, so let's say that my team is just blowing and going and we're going, you know, we're jamming away. And to see here, who was Mary's recruit, is doing so well that she becomes a team manager. A team manager is, um, you have to have 700 PRV, five active legs, and two of those legs need to be lead consultants. And so she needs to be a team manager. Now, if she's a team manager, chances are, or I would hope, that I would be a team manager as well. Um, so if I'm a team manager and then she becomes a team manager, she will become my first generation. So this is going to be my, my generation one. So Mary, Mary's downline, Mary's hobbyist, this one right here, number two C, is going to become my first generation when I start looking at trying to, at, at achieving generational overrides. Um, I believe that that starts at 3% and so 3% of your, um, your, uh, commissional volume, com commissional volume. <laughs> um, so if you lo are looking on your, um, your dashboard or excuse me, your workstation 
And uh, if you pull up your team activity report, you'll see quite a few different acronyms. You'll see that you're a PRV, and then you will see um, CV right next to that. That stands for commissional volume. It's 65% of the PRV and that is where you're generate that's what you're going to receiving your level overrides on and your generational overrides on so um, it's not on your full on the full PRV um, when you start looking at all of that so this would become Mary would be out and this would become my first generation leg even though she's level two since Mary is a hundred uh, hobbyist she would become my first generation um, for the generational overrides um, if Mary goes for a full year without uh, as a hobbyist and then decides not to renew what happens to 2C here if Mary is out decides not to renew after being a hobbyist which um, if she is a hobbyist for a full year she would have to pay again to join. So if she wanted to continue to receive the discounts, she would have to pay the $99 to become, uh, to join again. Um, so anyway, so if Mary does not do that, she does not renew as a consultant and decides that she's, she doesn't want any more of this, then, only then, will this leg now bump up to become my first leg. But that's only that's that's only if Mary after her first year. So she has she's she's gonna have to make that choice. Um, anyway, so this is still my first generation. So anyway, so I was hoping there we go um, that maybe seeing it like this might kind of help alleviate some of the confusion um, and everything that it means. And so um, remember an active leg. And, oh, that was one other thing I wanted to make sure that you guys understood. So, let's say that um, this leg right here. So, we've got Sue, and she's got these two um, active legs down. She's got these two um, consultants, these two recruits underneath her. And both of them are active. This is still one leg for me. Sue is my leg. Anything underneath her. Anything that, anything going on down in here makes this leg active. So if for me, it only still counts as one active leg. It does not count. I do not get active leg for this one and this one. Those two, Sue would have two active legs for these two. But I only have one because it's all underneath Sue. Okay? Um, so, and anything, and, and, and... The highest rank within this entire leg is what that leg qualifies then for me. So if Sue is an advanced consultant, that is one of the other things. If Sue is an advanced consultant, she's got 200 PRV, she might have more than one active leg, but until her PRV goes up, she's only going to count as an active, as an advanced consultant. So you have to meet all of the requirements. Let's say, though, that this girl right here is now a lead consultant. That counts for me. That makes this entire leg a lead consultant leg for my, um, my promotional um, purposes leg. Now, Sue might not be receiving all of the benefits of having a lead consultant down in her downline if she is not... Um, matching that level, but it's still for me, if I am making matching my levels, and I, it still counts for me as that active leg. All right, that's the compensation plan in a nutshell, and I hope that that made sense to you guys. Um, if not, let me know, and I will hopefully talk with you soon. All right, guys, happy jamming. Bye.